everyone and welcome back to my channel. I wish you could see everything that's in front of me right now. First of all, I'm just surrounded by so much stuff because I'm currently in the process of switching over my wardrobe from fall, winter to spring, summer. So it's like a bomb has gone off in my house, but I have splayed out in front of me a ton of different minimal sandals for spring and summer because between you and me, if you watched my things I would like in my wardrobe video, even from last year when I did this, I said that I wanted the Hermes Oran sandals because just in general, my sandal wardrobe was very, very lacking. I didn't even have a really nice pair of, believe it or not, black or tan sandals. I was kind of just wearing my plastic Birkenstocks the entire summer, uh, which is kind of interesting. So I just thought I would upgrade my wardrobe a little bit and get some really beautiful sandals. Granted, living in New York City, you don't wear sandals a lot because the open toe, you do the math, it's not so clean out there, but I do go other places other than New York City, so I would like to build out my sandal wardrobe a little bit, and I think at this point in time I have a really nice collection. So I'm gonna share, let's see here. I like printed out this little cheat sheet so I could walk through all the different ones with you. I have one, two, three, four. Okay, really just four different styles that um, I think you all are gonna like. And I mean, I looked all over the web. I will say mostly Net-A-Porte is where I ended just because to be honest, their customer service, their shipping, they're my absolute favorite. Everything comes super, super fast. If you don't like something and doesn't fit, you can send it back. And it's just all very seamless and it's all very nice. And especially when you're ordering shoes, I feel like you just don't want to mess with bad customer service. So most of these examples and most of the things that I have ordered are from Net-A-Porter, which is also very important when because a lot of these brands are brands from Australia or Germany. And so if you order direct from them, definitely check their policy around returns and shipping because it can get quite expensive if something isn't your size, having to send it back and forth. So anyway, uh, let's jump right into it. So I'm going to go with the most edgy, alternative, that's how I would define it, at least, sandal. So this whole thing kind of kick-started, well, really got kick-started with the Hermes Oran sandal, which is not edgy or alternative in any way. But when I was looking at sandals, I saw these incredible sandals from St. Agni. So I had seen this brand pop up a few times on Net-A-Porter. They're an Australian brand. And this is a really great example of their aesthetic. It's kind of like a cos or a co. It's very like simple with a little modern twist. So when I saw these just really beautiful asymmetric slides, I loved that they have a really thick band because from a practical perspective, the issue with slides, which spoiler alert, I will get into <laughs> when I talk about the St. Laurent slides and the AD slides, is that they kind of go flop, 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 flop <laughs> when you're walking in them. And if you're a fast walker, like all the good New Yorkers are, then that can get a little bit annoying. So I find that these are just like super, super secure on the foot because they have that really thick, beautiful leather kind of strap to them. And I love the asymmetricness. Again, it just adds sort of a little visual interest. It's kind of sexy, really on the foot, but because it is like a thicker leather, I do find these to be more casual. They definitely, they don't dress down an outfit, but they don't dress up an outfit. I will put it that way. So even the back of these, look how cool this little just block heel is. I just love everything about these shoes and how architectural they are. So in terms of sizing, I got a size 40. A couple of you asked me about this in one of my previous videos, my cost video, and I found that uh, they are true to size. So I'm normally a size 10, just like triple checking right now. And yeah, you'll see it in the cutaways. They definitely fit great. And so yeah, so sizing wise, uh, definitely go with a size 40 if you're normally a size 10. The other thing is that, again, they are an Australian brand. You can order from them directly and they do have sales and things like that. So 
definitely check out their website. I'll leave it linked below, but because they're Australian, I actually ordered these from Net-A-Porter and they come in black and they come in like a really dark chocolate brown, which I thought was really beautiful as well. Maybe I'll consider getting those. But yeah, I just thought these were like really cool, interesting, beautiful shoes. Another massive perk of these shoes is that they're extremely lightweight like super, super lightweight. So yeah, they're very easy to walk in for that regard as well. So not just the non-flapping, but also the sort of like weight of the entire thing. So price-wise, these were $211. So in full disclosure, that is the price range of pretty much everything I'm going to show you today. I really wanted to focus on real leather shoes. And so when you're in that more premium price point, that's what you're going to get. So there is a pair of shoes from Flatter that I will cover in a second. I think they're the cheapest pair in this entire kind of collection video. They were, I think, $129. So a little bit more expensive, but not as expensive as the highest of all the sandals, which were these Saint Laurent sandals, as well as some of the Jill Sander sandals that I will be talking about as well. So that's sort of the range, but yeah, 211 for these in particular. Some other similar shoes that I thought were really cool, full disclosure, I have not seen these in person. I ordered my favorites kind of from all these, but I do want to call these out in case you like them or you like them better. But I saw these really beautiful ones from Jill Sander. They reminded me a lot of these in that sort of architecturalness in that they have a very square or rectangular shape to them and an even more exaggerated one, which I don't really know what that would look like on a large foot like mine, but they look cool and they do have a little thing around the toe and then a little thing around the middle of the foot. So I also think these would be quite easy to wear. A fun fact about me is that I hate a flip-flop. So you're not gonna see a single flip-flop in here. Like for example, the ones by the row that blew up and were super popular last year and the year before that, but I, I can't wear it. They hurt my toes. I, I don't really, if anything goes through the toe, it has to have a lot of support around the rest of the foot. So you're not gonna see any flip-flops in this video. I'm just telling you that now, but yeah, these Jill Sander ones I think were a really nice alternative as well. However, they come with the Jill Sander price tag. So these are $950, which for a pair of sandals is a lot, I think. So that is why I did not order those. Another pair that I thought was cool, but almost a little bit too close <laughs> to a flip-flop were these leather ones by ATP. They had a very similar vibe as well to this I wouldn't call this bohemian, I would call this like Rick Owens alternative laid back California kind of look. That's what I'm dubbing it at least, but I did think these ATP ones were a great option as well. And these were $275, so I will leave all of those linked below if you want to check those out. So that's it for the sort of architectural, um, more bohemian ones, again dressed down kind of sandals. Now I want to talk a little bit about the strappy sandal and I'm going to caveat this one. I have two pairs here. Unfortunately, one of them is sold out and I can't find it again. I don't think they make it anymore. It's from AD. And then another one is from Ancient Greek. These are more bohemian, less alternative in my opinion than the ones that I just showed you. In fact, there were even more bohemian options. In fact, let me just get right into it. So the first option is this really stunning sandal from Ancient Greek Sandals. And to be perfectly honest, I was just curious to order something from this brand because I know their sandals are so popular and a lot of people have them. And I just kind of wanted to see what they were about. As their name says, <laughs> they are very Greek inspired. In fact, a lot of their more famous designs actually have braided straps. But the thing that I loved about these is that they have that sort of inspired Greek look, but they were a little bit less bohemian, a little cleaner, a little more modern, just because of like the simple leather straps. I also loved how dainty the straps are. I don't know how I mean, hopefully they wouldn't 
break. I don't know how sturdy they are, but they're very beautiful, very dainty. It really, they highlight the foot. They uh, put all the attention on the foot, that's for sure. They're not like thick and chunky. So sometimes when you just want a really beautiful, like with a linen or a light sundress, this could be a really nice counterpart to that. They do have a really interesting thicker kind of sole, which I don't know how I feel about that, to be honest. But on the back of it, they have these really cute little, little winged kind of things to kind of go with the ancient Greek little symbol that they have. <laughs> Uh, I'm not gonna lie, when I first took these out of the box, I was like, how do I put these on? <laughs> I didn't understand what was happening here. So basically, I'll try to get a video of it, but you put your foot through this thing because this thing kind of goes up the <laughs> ankle. And yeah, very, very, very pretty, but also practical again, because you have support on various parts of the foot kind of keeping it in place. So it does seem like it would be a nice, comfortable shoe. It's all leather and it's actually a pretty good price point too. It's $147. So that's one nice thing about ancient Greek sandals is that they are on the lower price point range. They're anywhere from like 120 to 150. And so if you're looking for a more, I don't want to say affordable option because that's all relative, but from this collection of stuff. This is definitely a more affordable option if you're looking for like a strappy modern sandal. I'm also gonna be trying on each of these sandals in the cutaway in the same little outfit, just cause I want you to sort of be able to compare and contrast just like I did in some of my previous videos, like my little crop trench video. I just think it's easier to focus on the shoe instead of like the styling or the outfit. And yeah, cause like, to be honest, I will style all these in various ways, but if I go into the styling as well, I think that we will never finish this video. <laughs> so I really just wanted to highlight the actual shoes in terms of price, sizing, material, quality, all of those things. So this one I also off, ugh. <laughs> This one I also ordered off of net -a porte again because they arrived like the next day super fast. That is why I love net -a porte And sizing-wise, I kind of think I actually could have gotten a 41. I think the only thing that scares me about getting that is I've had shoes in the past where when I get the 41, the because none of these are adjustable, I would worry that maybe they would be bigger for some reason. I've just found that, especially with like cheaper shoes like Zara, that's usually the case. And then it's like too big and they don't fit. So I just felt like I probably should have gotten a 41. So if I was to order from the brand again, I would probably get a 41 and not get a 40 just because I feel like my feet are like not really fitting. I mean, they fit, but I feel if there's any movement or the leather stretches or anything, I just feel like my feet kind of pudge over <laughs> the sides of it. So yeah, so I would suggest maybe trying a 41 if you're typically a size US 10 in the ancient Greek sandals. So on a similar vein, Ancient Greek also had, if the little tiny straps are a bit too delicate for you, but you still love that sort of strappy look, they had another pair that was really beautiful, a little bit more expensive and a little bit more kind of elevated. They had that thicker strap, I will insert the photo. Comes with an elevated price tag though, I will say. These were $225 and they also come in tan though, which is nice. So if you want a little tan option, then you could try out that particular style. Another strappy, elegant kind of sandal that I really, really loved was this one from Saint Laurent. However, the reason I did not order this is because it's in a satin, like a stiff, satin material, which to be honest, I actually think that's a really beautiful material. I have uh, some Jimmy Choo's from the collab with Off-White that are in that material and they're stunning, super uncomfortable, <laughs> like, but they're stunning. And um, yeah, stiff satin just doesn't really, it, yeah, it's just not that comfortable, I've found. 
So for that reason, I did not order these. However, I wanted to call them out because A, they're beautiful and B, I think these would be really beautiful if you had a formal event where you didn't want to wear a formal heel. So maybe a beach wedding or, you know, just something where you want to look really elevated and just nicer than your average sandal. I think this is such a gorgeous option. Granted, how many occasions does one have like that? I do not know, but it felt like it should have an honorable mention <laughs> in this collection of strappy sandals. Obviously, again, that's going to come with a higher price point. So this particular sandal is $775 on net -Port but it is absolutely beautiful and it's got that Saint Laurent quality. So the final pair is a tan strappy sandal. Unfortunately, this is a style, like I said in the very beginning, that you just can't find anymore, unfortunately. I don't know why AD didn't bring this one out again because it's got all the pieces that I love from a strappy sandal. It's got a little bit of secureness around the toe, but it's also got this nice strap across. So I find these very, very easy to walk in around the city. AD is just one of my favorite shoe brands. I have honestly at this point so many things from them but this is why they make very high quality shoes that are absolutely beautiful and wear really well the only bad thing I will say about these shoes which maybe that's why they didn't come out with them again is because they have this really architectural front to them they used a very soft leather so they wear very very quickly on the little tips, if you can see that. Which I have to get fixed from a cobbler after every summer, but it's just, I guess, the price you have to pay for wearing these. My uh, right side was falling asleep, so I'm gonna change positions here. But in general, I do find these shoes to be beautiful. I needed a nice tan shoe. Unfortunately, this is a lighter than the gold leather of my Hermes Kelly bag, which will be <laughs> something, spoiler alert. I was really looking for a pair that could like go well with that kind of tan, so a more orangey, kind of darker tan. This tan kind of becomes one with my skin at various points, depending on <laughs> where we're at in the summer, which I do kind of love that look. It really elongates the leg, I feel like, when you kind of blend in with the shoe. But again, if you're looking to match like your purse to your shoes, I do find this color to be a little bit tricky to match. So yeah, wanted to call these out. I think these are probably around $200, like most AD sandals are. Some are more expensive, but I think these are around $200. So that is all for the more strappy, bohemian sandals. And now let's move into a look that is strappy, but it's, it's not so intricate in the sense that it doesn't move across the foot and have sort of multiple areas of diagonalness and points. And you see, you'll see what I mean by the photos. So I'll start with another pair of AD sandals because I love them so much. And these are some sandals that I picked up last year again because I didn't have a single pair of black leather sandals, which is wild. And I wanted a really beautiful pair that I could also just wear around the city and they were going to stay on my foot and be comfortable but be minimal. And these ticked all of those boxes and I absolutely love them. Similar to the others though, they definitely get scuffed up in the front. You can see that a little bit. So I wish AD would use like a harder or more embossed leather or something here because they do just get destroyed a little bit. But that's one of the few complaints that I have from the brand. Other than that, if you, again, if you <laughs> watched any of my videos about AD shoes. They are Berlin based. So if you order directly from the brand, you will get your shoes really fast, I will say. But if you return them, you have to return them to a DHL location, which there might not be one in your town because they're a little bit rare. And you have to pay shipping back. So it's around, it was about $30 for me. So I would try to encourage you to find someone who sells them like a net a if you're not sure what your size is. 
But for me, AD is true to size. I'm always a 40. I'm, again, a size 10. So true to size. Hopefully that helps, but you just never know. So these are the Neti sandal. And these really stay secure on the foot. They have an area that covers the toe and then they have this area that goes sort of around the ankle. As much as I hate that this really chops my foot off <laughs> because it has an ankle strap, I just find this so necessary when walking around New York. It's much harder for me to wear a slide around New York and actually get anything done. So the Neti was like, check those boxes. The other thing I love about this shoe is that it comes in a lot of different colors. Unfortunately, Neta Borte, for whatever reason, they only have, maybe they have the black? I'm not sure. Uh, I'll link it down below if not, but from what I could tell, they only had a cream color and a silver color, but it does come in both black and tan as well. So I love that they have a big variety of colors that you can get this shoe in. They definitely raised the price of the shoe, of really all their shoes, because they're coming, they're becoming very, very popular, which good for them. I get it. I love them. Love you guys. You're great. But <laughs> I swear I bought these for like $199 last year, and now they're something like $325. So the sandal price for AD has definitely increased. I mean, really all of their shoes have increased, so it's not an inexpensive sandal by any means. So I do want to call that out. However, fear not, I do have some, if, if price is a concern for you, there are some less expensive options. Reminder, it's still real leather, so none of these are cheap by any means, but Flatter did a very great dupe <laughs> of these, and I've never actually had a pair of shoes from Flatter, but I love, that's a lie, I do have a, spoiler, I have one pair of shoes from Flatter, but I love their bags, so in general their quality is very nice. So they have a very, very, very similar pair, except for on theirs, it's not as clean on the strap that goes across the toe. There's a little bit of a buckle, unfortunately. I don't really know why they did that, but it's very similar and they're $199 instead of the $325. They also came out with a slightly different iteration of this where there's a strap coming down the middle and that one is the same price. It's around $325 and that is on Net-A-Porte. So if this was like too simple for you and you wanted something to cover the top of the foot in a kind of a minimalistic gladiator type of way. I think this pair of AD shoes is a really nice option. Obviously the ultimate pair of modern <laughs> gladiator-esque shoes would be the Jill Sander cage sandals. However, I did not order these because there's no possible way that these are comfortable. If anyone has these, please tell me how these do not just give your toes like a wedgie. <laughs> I just don't understand these shoes, but uh, I will show you them. They are iconic. They're amazing uh, looking. They're very recognizable. Everyone knows they're Jill Sander when they see them. So yeah, that is also an option. There is also a slightly more, again, gladiator-esque option that I saw on Net-A-Porte from this I was about to say from this uh, band, from this brand called A. Emery, which I've never purchased anything from before, so not sure about sizing or anything, but again, similar coverage where they have the little bands on the toe, and then they had a little bit more strap detail around the ankle, which I thought was nice, and they were less than $200, and they also had a tan pair as well, so that could be a little bit of a backup. And then Totem had a really nice pair that was, again, similar with the band across the toe, but then they sort of tied up your ankle. So very more bohemian, but still, still minimal and modern, which was great. So now we're going to get to the kind of final style, which is the very classic slide, which... I will say now, the Oran sandal is not in this. And I've really been, I won't say struggling because it's not like it's keeping me up at night, but I was hesitating. It's been about two years now since I've talked and thought about purchasing the Oran sandal. I am clearly an Hermes fan. I love my Hermes bags. Their quality is great. But the thing that I'm having trouble with with the Oran sandal is it's 
it's almost like in that logo category for me, which I just don't really, it's like too obvious, if that makes sense. It's an H, it's the Hermes H, and I just, it's just not the look that I am going for right now. So I've just been far more inclined to purchase just some clean, basic, hence pretty much everything I showed you in this whole video over that particular sandal. However, I'm still on the hunt for a sandal in that beautiful, warm, almost darker gold leather so that I can, when I'm wearing, you know, my Kelly, this is the Ardenius leather, which is like an embossed leather. When I wear this in the spring and summer, then it kind of matches a little bit. It doesn't need to be perfect. It doesn't need to be like super matchy matchy, but it needs to be better than this. <laughs> so I'll, st I'll start with the tan. So this is a pair that I picked up from Flattered. That's when I said I lied. I do have a pair of, of Flattered shoes now because this was a pair that I picked up. I think they were on sale, to be honest, over the winter because I loved how simple they were. I actually kind of love this like orangey leather. I think it works nicely with my skin in the summer when I have a little bit of a tan. And they're very comfortable. They are again, not the easiest to walk in. So I would I wouldn't call these like a vacation shoe per se. Like I'll still wear them around New York. I just wouldn't wear them if we're going to be walking miles and miles and miles just cuz I don't think I can handle the whole flap 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 situation that goes on when you have a slide like this. This is also one of the more affordable options. The slide is I think 100 and I think it's $129 and they have it in a couple of different colors, which is nice. They have it in black. They have it in this tan color. This doesn't look bad with the Hermes. It is that orangey kind of color. So it definitely complements it. It is not matching per se, but it's a great slide. I had very similar slides from Target that I just didn't love because they were fake leather and I just like the look of real leather. And so I ended up giving those away and then filling them in with these. Now, I do really like how high the strap comes up and how it covers my toe. I don't love showing a lot of toe and I think this hits a really cool flattering place on the foot. I think my biggest pet peeve with these shoes is this curve in the leather that you can see. I don't know why it's so curved because it's not like my foot is going that high. I'm hoping maybe as they stretch out with wear that maybe this smooths out a little bit, but yeah, they're just kind of like weirdly curved <laughs> in that way, which is interesting. So yeah, I don't know, to be honest, if I would buy these again or if I would buy these in black for that reason, but they are a good simple shoe to just slide on and have a nice kind of casual fun look to it. I got these in a size 40 and that is a perfect size for me. So flattered, it seems like, again, true to size, size 10, size 40. They look great. So if you're curious about sizing, they're a size 40. I ordered them directly from flattered. They come from Spain and flattered shipping I find is quite fast. I think I got them within maybe three days. So even though they're coming from Europe, pretty quick. I mean, I will say like I'm in New York, so everything comes pretty quick, which is one nice benefit of being here. But yeah, these are a nice basic slide. Now, these next couple of slides, I was hoping for, a I'll go straight into the tan one. This is the most expensive of all of the ones I'm showing you in person. And you might recognize this. This is the St. Laurent Tribute Sandal. So to be honest, I never understood for a while why people would want this one over the Hermes Oran because it's actually more expensive than the Hermes Oran. I think, granted, everyone's raising their prices, so who knows now, but, well, weirdly, I'll just go ahead and jump into it. So for whatever reason, this sandal was $640 on Farfetch and on Net-a-Porte, it was $770. So I don't know 
what's going on there <laughs> and why there's such a huge discrepancy in price. I mean, that's literally more than $100 in price. So I, I don't know, but I decided to order them from Farfetch and thankfully in the 40, they were $640. I got them pretty fast. I ordered them, I think on a Monday or Tuesday and I received them on a Friday and they are very pretty. Although I will say the Saint Laurent paint even looks like a little bit worn at this point. I kind of love how the stitching around the shoe is actually metallic. I don't know if you can see that. Let's try to get close here. Focus, focus. Okay, I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but it's got this beautiful metallic gold thread going around it. So that is really beautiful. I mean, you can certainly tell it's a gorgeous premium sandal. I'm a little concerned in that they're so similar to the AD shoes. Obviously one is extremely worn out and the other one has not been worn, but they've got the exact same kind of issue, quote unquote, with the toe, where I do think this is going to get scuffed up very easily because this looks like a super soft leather. However, I just love the shape of that toe. I mean, I think actually most of these have that really stunning, stunning shape, but I love that these shoes, A, even though they're Saint Laurent, they're not really logo-y. You can't really tell unless you know fashion and you know this particular shape, but I love that it's like a little basket. It feels summery and it feels festive without being boho. <laughs> and so I do love that about it. And I love that it's like the perfect color of brown tan to go with my bag. So it really is checking all those boxes. It'll look great with black. It'll look great with navy. It's a really stunning, stunning sandal, I will say. I got it in a size 40, which I really didn't know if I was going to be a 40 or a 41. I think actually the 40 works. I think I could get away with a 41, but I think the 40 actually looks nice. And given that these are real leather, I think as I wear them in, I think the 40, they'll stretch a little bit and they'll still be great. So yeah, I'm actually really pleased and kind of shocked that I would want to maybe go this route with my shoe choice instead of getting the Hermes Oran, but I just feel like this look is a little more classic and timeless and beachy, vacation-y, and yeah, I just love, and it doesn't feel so matchy-matchy when I'm wearing it with my Hermes bag. It's not like I'm like head-to-toe Hermes that way. So that's where I'm at <laughs> with all of this. It's been a journey. It's really been a journey. The other thing that's nice about this shoe is that it comes in a ton of colors as well. Not as many as the Oran. I don't even know at this point how many colors that shoe comes in, but this one comes in the tan, the black. They had like some lizard version. They have like a lighter, cooler kind of tan color. So lots of options, which is great with this particular slide. So now let's get into the final slide. Of course, <laughs> these are from AD because I just can't help myself. I just love this brand. They are so beautiful. They really are. Like this is like the nicest sandal I've ever seen in my life. Honestly, if you handed both of these to me and said, which one do you think is more expensive? I think I might say this one. So I think maybe they might've learned their lesson because if you look closely, on here, it looks like it's more embossed and there's a bit of a ledge. So hopefully this one won't get as banged up as my other AD shoes. I'm also obsessed with this leather. It's so beautiful and like shiny and it's just very luxurious. This is just such a luxurious, it's very like heavy shoe as well. This is just a very nice, very nice sandal. It comes in black. It also comes in a dark chocolate brown. I need to look if they make this in, if they made this in this color, I don't know if I would get it instead of this one, because to be honest, I do love the basket kind of detailing. 
just because I don't have a lot of things like that. But man, this is a good looking sandal. <laughs> this is such a good looking sandal. It's just so chic. It's going to look so chic with all of my stuff. And I love too that it can not only look great on a holiday, but like it's perfect for the city because it's so sophisticated and elevated looking. Yeah, it's just a really beautiful sandal. Again, I got it in a size 40. I ordered it from net It It is a pricey sandal. It is three... I think $325. I did notice that Ancient Greek has a very similar one. Looking closely though, I think theirs, I don't know if it will be as like shiny and kind of downtown looking. I think it might be a little more bohemian looking. So it's hard to say without seeing them side by side, but the Ancient Greek ones, because they're Ancient Greek and in general, Ancient Greek has a lower price point. I think they were about 150. And so if you did want a more sort of budget-friendly option. Again, it's all relative. I don't think $150 is quite budget-friendly, but um, it is less expensive than these. But honestly, these are the nicest sandals. I love these sandals. So yes, lots of options. Summer is upon us. I hope this was helpful in kind of combing through all of the different options for modern simple sandals that there are out there because there are a lot and it can be a process. So yeah, hopefully this helped and I can't wait to style these up. So keep an eye out for them in some of my future videos and I will see you all in my next one.